Good evening traders, it's Mark here from Day Trading Room. Time is coming to 5 to 10 London time. Um, really busy close, um, good good drive, good drive higher, a lot of action into the close. Um, also wanted to review uh, the webinar uh, that I did at half past 5 London time, um, talking about using the tick index to uh, for trading strategies, trading setups, to manage trades and to help keep you out of trouble really. I talked... Um, Thank you for those who came, by the way, appreciate your time. Uh, and for those of you who couldn't make it, there will be a recording available for you to uh, for you to see uh, what went on and what we talked about there. Uh, but one of the first topics I discussed was how to use the tick, uh, the first tick pullback after a surprise move as a strategy. So these are the slides I was using, trading with the tick index was the webinar title and some of the first first thing I talked about was first tick pullback after surprise. Now a surprise to me is what happened here and actually I'm really pleased to say I uh, received an email from a trader who was at the webinar and he said that uh, made a lot of sense to him, the tick index, he's been using it, um, wasn't sure how to fine tune his entries with it, wasn't sure on a specific strategy to use excuse me, specific strategy to use, um, but it made a lot of sense to him, which is also something I discussed about, you know, trading setups actually having to make sense and understanding the concept behind it. Anyway, cut a long story short, um, he put his own little twist on it. He put his own little twist on the first pullback um, trade, which is, which is what I do, first tick pullback to zero after a good drive. Um, he wanted to wait, he wanted to wait until um, the next candle showed strength or weakness depending on which way I was taking the trade and he took this trade after the webinar, webinar finished about an hour or so watching the market, this he considered a surprise move as did I uh, came out of nowhere, uh, good volume, good strong ticks pulling back, there's his candle, this is what he did he waited for his, his, his uh, ticks pull back to zero that activates his, his trade but he's not ready to go yet he wants to wait and see that first candle form then we get the close, so that's the candle, there's his entry, his risk is quantified under here, so it's a reasonable level of risk, but um, he had an extended target and he was looking, as I also mentioned in the webinar, for a new high in the ticks. Um, I don't know if he scaled out at all, um, but he said that at the end of the day he took the most of his position off on this new high in ticks, which is around here. So a fantastic trade, um, you know, that's a good or 60, 60 tick trade, even if he scaled out at various levels, maybe that high there, um, maybe maybe on the way up, um, I don't know, but he uh, said that his uh, final exit was at the uh, was the new high in the ticks, and a little bit of modification, um, which is uh, something I said, you know, make strategies your own, make them make sense for you, put your own twist on them, that's absolutely fine. So that's what he's done, and he's literally made himself um, a nice 50 tick trade, uh, within an hour and a half of coming out of the uh, out of the webinar, which is fantastic news. Really pleased to see that. So, um, yeah, great stuff. Um, I hope some of you guys um, made some great trades today. Um, looking forward to see what action is tomorrow. We've obviously spiced things up a bit. Um, as I say, the recording will be up on the blog shortly. Just get that sorted out. Uh, we had a lot of fun, really enjoyable. A webinar for everyone. Some great feedback. Are those of you who are there, um, appreciate your feedback. For those who have sent it, and um, we we'll look forward to doing another one. So good trading, guys. As always, manage your risk, and we're back with another video um, probably over the weekend, if not on on Monday. Take care.